Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for March 7th through the 13th, 2016. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath and allow ourselves to hear the alignment of information guidance and wisdom which the universe is offering to you now and with that deep breath allow yourself to release any worries that have you feeling caged in and they're literally writing the word cage and there's a sense that there are things that you're allowing yourself to focus on, worries, and they're showing me that this is limiting your connection. And what you wanna pay attention to is when you feel vulnerable. And they're giving me a sense that some of you um, almost feel like at times that you are, um, like a like a mannequin, like a tool to this, um, to your vulnerabilities, to your sufferings. Instead of you being using tools, uh, the tools of your your inner being, your vulnerabilities use you almost. You feel like you're being used as a tool, giving you that sense of feeling uh, caged in. And so what they really want you to do is to recognize that what this is an indication of is that you need to allow, you need to allow your abundance. So much is unfolding for you now. So much is at the point of powerful manifestations, breakthroughs uh, of the things that really have profound meaning to your soul and to your heart. And it is this which is bringing forth your, your worries, your fears, as you feel uncertain in these times. And what you need to allow is this uncertainty to be. You need to allow it to, to play itself out so that you can get yourselves break free and allow the abundance. This is one of those cases where you don't need to try to fix anything, but you need to observe. You need to observe your soul and your purpose and see how things are lining up for you and to trust and see how when when you start to become faint in your in your in your trust and your belief in yourself and your dreams and don't try to to wrestle with that because what you do is you just end up activating the energy that is creating this feeling of being caged. And it's only because you don't feel like you know what to do. You don't know how to handle it. And that is the place where you need to be. You need to get to a place where you realize that you don't need to know how to handle it. You just need to allow it. During the weekly card messages, this was kind of given um, to us through an understanding of one trying to capture a ray of, of the sunlight and that it's, it's almost impossible to do. But what is possible is for you to open your hands and allow the ray of light to touch you. And so this is 
sort of the idea of understanding the power of your of the laws of attraction and that you don't have to handle anything what you need to do is open your heart and let allow the rays allow the blessings to to touch your heart to inspire the action steps that you are to take it's not that you're going to be passive and sit there with your hands tied but this is a great time of abundance and the only way to receive true abundance and to receive your prayers is to open your heart to open your mind to see through the clarity of love see yourself in this beautiful perfection and just know that you have to allow yourself to be touched by the divine in the ways that the divine comes to you through symbols through thoughts through um, inspired action so that you are working in concert you are not a one-man act you know and, and this is what they want you to do to allow true abundance is to allow yourself to be a part of the team to be a part of the whole process, to, to, to perform your role, but to also interact. So this is like a collaboration. And we often have a hard time with collaborations because we feel like we're losing control. And they want you to learn this valuable lesson and put this, use this tool to help you to accomplish and to achieve. They keep showing me a calf and so this really just gives me a sense of um, a time a profound abundance in this week and being nurtured by your by your gifts um, you nurturing others with your gifts or being nurtured by your own gifts so it's a great time of, ex of exchange and feeding oneself feeding one's soul uh, feeding others' souls. And you are at the center of all of this. So they want you to really open open yourself. Instead of worrying, open yourself to your gifts. Open yourself to the rewards that are within you and share them and receive of them. So think of all the ways that your gift wants to express itself because that'll get you out of that feeling of being in that cage that'll get you out of that place of feeling like your suffering your vulnerabilities are always at the center of your life okay and and, and in this way shifts that focus um, to the inner beauty so you can't resist because what ends up happening is it just persists by by Whenever you put your attention to anything, you start the activation of it, whether it's resistance or allowing. So there's only an option here for you to choose to allow, to choose to allow what feels good to you, to choose to, to allow what what's, um, has momentum that's positive, that's meaning that's right for you. Follow the leads, follow the signs, follow the inspiration that is guiding you. And yes, you may feel a little foolish as they're showing me a, um, a clown. And you've, um, the clown's face is painted. And so you've, you've been hiding behind your, your mask, behind the exterior, what you would like to present to the world as things being a certain way. But what they really want you to do is to take off that mask and they want you to be, because that's foolish, to hide behind a persona, okay? That's true foolishness. But following your heart's desire, doing what is unexpected, following the unexpected, listening to your inner voice, this, this uh, formless consciousness, this is not foolish. This is divine. So let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week. And they're, just, they're showing me a, this calf. So I just get a strong sense as you, you move forward and follow your inspiration, your 
really activate your creativity this week, you're going to shift that picture of understanding that you had. And we know that so much has come up in the previous week. And this is still a process of uh, that is unfolding for you. And as you expand, contractions are happen. And so as it's showing me rabbit here, that again, time of fertility, creativity. So really step in to your truth now. This is how you anchor what you have learned by anchoring, by working on the path of your truth. When you f focus on your worries and trying to fix problems, you're not on the path of your truth. Because no matter how much you try to fix it, it you're activating it and more will come because the universe is reading it as, oh, we like fixing things, fixing things that are broken. And so you find yourself working um, like a mechanic, just getting one thing that's, uh, you may love cars, let's put it this way, but you find yourself fixing broken ones instead of getting new ones. I know it's a little silly, but it's kind of the idea, you, would you rather be driving around in all these wonderful cars or would you rather be fixing them all? And if that's, and that, that those two questions depends on what's inside of your heart, what your, your heart's desire. Maybe you want to get under the hood and know more about them. And that's what, that's what really inspires you and turns you on. Versus the person whose path is just to sit in the car and drive a lot of beautiful cars. So understand that, that right and wrong is truth is defined only by the soul that is calling it, summoning it forth through the, what you focus your attention to. And so that's where you really want to pay attention to what you are summoning through your focus. And if you find yourself displeased with what you're summoning, then change your focus. Wow, that seems like it in a nutshell, right? All that's been said. So let's take a look at the Archangel Oracle card and see, wow, okay. So <laughs> confirmation, uh, prosperity, the Archangel Ariel. So this card, and, and what I'm getting a sense of is you're getting in the way. Okay, that's this just came through. You're getting in the way of your of all that you desire. So it's present. It's around you. It's it's there. If you're not seeing it, it's because you're focused in another way that's making you blind to see it. You understand? It's it your your. This is what we really got to understand about what we give our attention to, and then what we and, and then how we what we end up following as a result of that because it'll draw you into this different perspective so it's like wearing a different set of lenses and when you focus on something that you are protesting and, and you think you're being you know righteous in, in your sense of well this is wrong all of a sudden it becomes it, you're drawn into its world and now you have on this lens where all you see is all that's wrong in the world and you're constantly um, upset or enraged by it. And, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Not to say that, you, that you're not going to learn but things as you along that path. But when you're then feeling the longing and the, 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 the gap uh, or the, the distance or the limits of not having a f sense of fulfillment of your desires, then you can't, that's a whole nother road and that's a whole nother lens. And so you've got to decide not which lens you want to put on so that you can, if you put on the other lens and you follow the things that are working for you, the things that you're inspired by, the things that you love, all of a sudden you see more of it because what you focus on increases. There's two statements, what you resist persists. And then what you focus on increases. So you got to not resist, but focus. That's the key here. Choose how you want to focus. And you choose that by what makes you feel good. Not but what sounds right, but what feels right. Okay? So, and you can only know that, like, again, the person, one person may really want to work underneath the hood. 
and fix cars. It, that, that may feel good to them. It may do everything for them. It may just turn on everything for them. Whereas the other person wants, but neither one is right or wrong. It just, you got to know your own heart. And you can't know your own heart by walking around with the clown with, with the mask on, putting, on, uh, putting personas uh, out there that <clears throat> you're just trying to fit in and, and, make, and, and seek approval from the world around you. So there's something about getting out of your own way of prosperity in this week. And, uh, and it's available to you. And it's not difficult. It's shift. Shift the lens. That's all you got to do uh, is what I'm really getting. So the card says your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Key word here, follow. Follow your intuition. Let's just look and see if there's any additional messages from Archangel Ariel, whose name means the Lion of God. So the Lion is all about desires and um, courage and, and vitality, energy uh, associated with the sun and all this golden energy. So really going after what, this is the time for you to go after uh, and, and not just it's to pursue the heart. When you pursue the heart, you're not really having to, 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 to conquer it. You're just having to allow it to come to you. And you, and you come to it. It, it. You're coming together. Okay? The, it's like the, the magnets. The, the, the attraction happens both ways. So one is being drawn and drawn and the other is drawing. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a balance here. And you just got to pay attention to what's pulling you and what, what are you pulling towards you? What are you summoning? And, and, and then what is it? And pay attention to what is coming towards you. All right. And then what you're summoning, how, what is it summoning? What more is it summoning forth from you? You see. Okay. So let's just see if there's any additional messages from Archangel Ariel. Get in a sense of spending time out in nature. And just when you feel like you're losing connection, to really um, let nature feed your and heal your connection, your alignment with source. And, and when, th this is what they're showing me. For you to get out in nature, if you can, um, where it's possible, um, even if it's really cold, I understand it, just to get a quick breath of fresh air um, will really... Um, just re revitalize you and um, and that's necessary for you to get that little connection okay so let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week and we have the three of fire so I love this card because the this little one here is sitting next to the dragon and in the distance you can see the volcanoes uh, erupting here and the sky is red and so it's full filled with passion and um and and there's a sense of that you can start to make long-term goals now that this is a good time for for planning ahead not in a way of control but um visualizing allowing new ideas and allowing things to erupt within you and there's a sense of acceptance of this and and that these will produce um uh, results uh, and and they're going to may have a huge impact on your life moving forward so this is a great time to um open yourself up to what if what's possible right now what opportunities um, allowing yourself to see the road ahead or or what what is to see what you've been summoning allow yourself to see what you've been summoning sometimes we spend our times d in denial um, because we're afraid of some of the things that that we're capable of some of the things that are possible for us and we and so we don't give ourselves a chance to embrace this desire and since this card is also like the number three uh, in alignment with the Empress and manifestation, you know, 
um, this is a this is also really a, also a positive reinforcement for you to start sketching out something, or to start begin or begin to um, uh, express it in some way or articulate it in some way, whether it's on paper um, or some kind of interaction or playful interaction, to really uh, start exploring and 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 putting those first seeds at, together or drawing together a group. Um, you know, let's say if you, you know, reaching out to a broader group, reaching out, maybe you, in the previous card, you've had a, some a partnership or something's come together for you. And now you need to reach out to flesh it out a little bit more. So um, it, it could be a group project, something you're starting, a new group project that you'll start and you know or brainstorm of some sort I, I just get this sense of something around this that you need to do um so that you can start to activate the energy of prosperity here you start to activate your purpose instead of just sitting around and thinking about it and worrying just begin it then you're going to get a real true sense of what's going to occur but you're not going to do this with judgment you're just going to allow you're just going to do it for the fun focus on the, doing what you love you see and trusting that you have support with you to help you to realize that potential your dreams this card i'm hearing your dreams are possible so don't give up okay it, it it's already taking place think the activity um, has occurred, so the, the a connection, a chemistry um, that has caused the three to manifest or create your desire. Something has happened, even if you can't see it. It's already taken place, or it's it's taking place and has taken place. Now let me just tune in and see if there are any additional messages with this card. And hmm, if look like a. Okay, so they're, they're saying that you really need to get... They're, they're showing me like a sliding board. And it was like a little kid sitting at the top, like a baby. And then they wrote the word lack. And so what this is telling me is that you need to play more because you've been focusing so much on lack. And, you know, you're, this, this, you're in the infant stages, depending on what you're doing, and they're writing yes. Um, even though you've been working on something long term... This could also mean that a shift has happened uh, for you recently. And, and so you're now that, uh, that you have a new awareness and it's like being born again. And so you got to give it time, um, this next level of expansion for you. Um, they're also indicating something about a relationship. It's, you know, it's at the baby stage. You need to be, be playful. Right now, you need to get, you know, don't be so serious and relax be playful, enjoy, let things flow. Just, just notice, like slide down. You know, you, you just let 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 yourself just go down the slide. Let things move naturally towards that downstream um, sensation where you let gravity pull. Okay, instead of you trying to control it or resist it in some way. All right. So let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. Another fire card and. It, um, you know, messages, um, activity. So this is, the, you know, I love this card because it's all these rockets of desires. Is what it reminds me of, just shooting off in all directions and um, focused in, and you have this main intention, which is just creating uh, other aspects of your dreams unfolding. So this card shows movement, um, so where here we see that at the beginning of the week you're you're having to initiate or the the activity and so that you don't get you know lost um, in in negative thoughts and thinking and so you're being asked to believe that your dreams are being realized and here they're showing you that you're going to start to get some kind of messages or some signs. You're going to start to see uh, signs. And you're going to start to see activity. 
um, happen almost immediately, uh, or, or rather quickly, as you can see by the indication of the way that these wands are moving. And I'm also getting a sense that it's just, you know, you can't be rigid. You, this is about, these two cards about the fire suits is all about following your passions and being open to passion. So being open to love coming towards you, or at least, um, you know, a sense of romance, uh, possibly being open to your desires and your dreams unfolding, coming to you and all from all directions, opportunities, help, assistance, whatever it form it takes on, be open and be ready. And the only way to be ready is to just open your heart and connect at that level. Okay. Let me just tune in to see if there are any additional messages here in this card. Hmm. Wow. I feel like I'm seeing it's like some kind of um, like the Pegasus. Like uh, and several of them, like almost like um, drawing a chariot uh, across, and so it just there's a sense of um, for some of you that you're gonna get some profound spiritual uh, guidance or information in the middle of the week when the when the Pegasus, the winged uh, horses, unicorns uh, show up. This is bringing information from uh, other star systems. Um, of where they're, they're uh, of higher evolution, uh, higher levels of consciousness, um, profound information that's really going to nurture you. Um, I'm seeing the cow that's going to help you to ideas that are going to help you to um, really sort of secure your, your future, um, or your goals or your plans or your projects. So, and, and I feel like a sense of a bull too. So, um, a, a lot of strength uh, is coming through. So, just be aware. Be again. It's going to be all forms, depending on where you are in your uh, process of ascension. But what they're showing me is it looks like a book that's been buried um, in the ground, and if someone finds it and unlocks it so some some ancient knowledge is coming awakening within your spirit so just be very much open to it and this is going to be a great time of learning for you as well as it's showing me the graduation hat all right let's take a look at the card for the end of the week of the weekend and this is the renewal card so talking about awakening just right after that we have um this card the judgment card so this is going to be, it says, um, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So you're going to feel like a sense of renewal um, in this week uh, after this event occurs for you, uh, that you're going to feel like you have a greater sense of where, who you are. You're, you know, you'll be able to shed, I believe that I feel like you're going to be able to shed that that mask, that persona that you put out there. And you're going to um, be comfortable in your own persona. That is to say, the persona that your soul has revealed to you that is the truth of who you are. So there's some continuation from last week about this uh, profound growth spiritually, this profound awakening, this uh, uh, profound rebirth which we've already seen some of the images they've given me in this reading um, for you. So the, the weekend, it, you're going to just take some time to really um, take it all in. I know we have time changes um, in the U.S. We're going to switch into, I guess, to daylight savings time. So, um, you know, take it all in. Some profound shifts are coming up. Let me just tune in to see if there are any additional messages in this card. And what they're, they're showing me is the things that you, you're going to be walking your path more, more uh, confidently as the things that made you feel weak and they undermined it, your, your progress and your, and your process um, are going to become valuable tools to you. So that you being the tool of 
your vulnerabilities, your insecurities is going to shift for you. And that's huge. That's really huge. Okay, let's take a look at the card from the bottom I already pulled. And it's the Eight of Earth. And uh, this card is um, says skill work is rewarded. Learning all there is about to know about a topic. Going back to school. So I get a sense, just from looking at her, that knowledge, powerful knowledge, is going to really... Um, help you to grow in your in your in your purpose here um, in your and this you know the earth suit represents family um, finances um, so you know home health so th there's things that you're going to learn about what's going on and about physical reality and manifestation and how you are attracting uh, prosperity or not, or, or detracting it, by, or, or you know, positive health or not, or positive um, jobs and you know, or not, or relationships within your you know families or not, or in the world, you're gonna something is going to just open up for you, and you're going to it's going to be a profound week of learning, and um, and. And feeling as though you are able to create a shift that is um, that is rewarding for you in these areas. Okay, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and thank you all for joining me here and for your comments um, in the previous videos. And um, if you have would like an angel reading. You can contact me at the angelschool.com slash services page, and, which you can find in the description link below. You can also join us on Facebook for the daily card messages Monday through Friday. What I, what I did is I switched so that I could write them a day ahead and then publish them. I try to publish them at 10 o'clock at night for the next day, but I've labeled them with uh, the date so that you know. And this way so that people from other parts of the world can get the daily card messages um, uh, ahead or at least an early in the day. So I hope this works out for everyone and I hope you enjoy those messages. And I look forward to speaking with you or next week um, for the next angel reading video or at, at seeing you online on Facebook or for perhaps... Um, talking to you for a private reading. So until next week, God bless you all.